The house of this married couple was built in 1925, and there are a few versions of how and why this house was built. But what's even more interesting for the citizens of Seattle is the fact that after their divorce, the man got the house while the woman got a piece of the yard, and she sought revenge. If you stand in front of the woman's house, it seems like any typical house in Seattle. Very tasteful, with a nice yellow facade. But if you look at the house from the side, you will be very surprised, if not disappointed. You will see a glass door leading to one of the most unique small houses ever built in Seattle. According to some locals, the original house owner wanted to have a garden in the form of a piece of cake in the front of the house. After long discussions about the price and other formalities, the owner of the little piece of land built her house there. It seemed like she did not care at all that her house completely obstructs her neighbor's house. However, the favorite version of how such a situation occurred is that the wife was caught cheating on her husband and he kicked her out of their house. The wife, however, insisted on being innocent. The divorce court decided that the woman should also keep part of their estate as she also put her money into it. The judge gave the house to the man and a small garden in front of the house that was just about 16 feet long to the woman. The wife was very angry and sought revenge. She decided to properly use her piece of the estate. As a result, the ex-wife built one of the tiniest and cutest houses in Seattle's history. The house is shaped like a triangle. On one side, it's just 15 feet wide on one side and a mere 55 inches wide on the other. The living space is about 80 square meters. Further, she painted the side that's visible from her ex-husband's house black to make the view even more uncomfortable. The house is located in Seattle's neighborhood, Mont Lake. Last time it was sold in 2003 for $320,000. Currently, it's up for sale again. The angry house, as some locals call it, has two bedrooms and two bathrooms. In some parts of the house, you can stretch out your arms and both touch walls. But the planning of the house makes it truly special. It's an architectural masterpiece. It's simply impossible to imagine how architects managed to put a full house onto such a small space. The house even has two guest rooms, one on the ground floor and the second on the first floor. On the first floor, there is also the bedroom with its own full-size bathroom and many windows for natural daylight. When you enter the house through the side door, you step into the kitchen, which looks very small, but has all the necessary kitchen items. The main living room is right behind the main entrance door. It's planned very cleverly and is quite comfortable despite its small size. Because of the bright colors inside the house, it looks very open and big. Guests usually wonder how the project planners managed to put so many useful things in such a tiny space. You can also go downstairs to the basement. There is one small bedroom that one could use as an office. In the bigger bedroom is also a bathroom and a shower. The size of the backyard is also impressive as it is almost as big as the biggest room in the house. The main part of the backyard is under a tree that gives nice shade. No one can say for sure whether this house was built in 1925, but the last couple of years it had multiple owners, a small renovation, and some modifications. Today it is one of the most impressive homes in the United States. It also demonstrates how an act of revenge can look like. So my friends, would you be able to live in such a small house? Write it in the comments, I'm interested to know. We'll see you later.